What's going on guys, Housekeeper15 here, and today I'm bringing you a full review on the Mofangi 3x3. So, this cube turns really, really well. It's very finger trickable, and you can almost do double, well yeah, you can do double turns with ease. So, the patterns, like donut and checkerboard, look pretty good on this cube. I'm going to do checkerboard. See, it looks pretty good. It almost reminds me of a quilt, almost. I don't know why. Just kind of the spacing and how the, each color kind of just pops out at you. This cube, if you turn it really slowly, sometimes you can hear the spring sound. I'm not sure if you could hear that or not, but I sure did. But if you turn it fast, all you hear is the clicking and you don't hear the spring at all. So, it's very finger trickable. I do really recommend this cube. I do have better ones, but I still do enjoy solving this cube. So the sticker list, I do like because I won't have to replace the stickers after a while. And I just think it moves really, really smooth. And let's take a look at the mechanism. Alright, so the mechanism on the edge pieces are, is kind of weird. I don't really understand why they have to put this little plastic thing here. It seems like it would break pretty easily, but I haven't had any break yet. And the corners, pretty standard. And of course they just snap together because it's stickerless. And this cube does come pre-lubricated from the factory or wherever you get it. The inside mechanism is that you can see all the little plastic pieces like that orange one right there and that blue one there i'm not sure why those are in there but that's okay because it doesn't really bother me all that much all right so i got this cube back together and time to resume the review so that was kind of a pain to get the edges in but not really the corners those are pretty easy but it's hard to get the edge in at the end so like i was saying i really do recommend this cube I do like the shades and it turns really really well. Lockups don't really occur and the corner cutting is a little under 45 which kind of sucks but it's still pretty good. Reverse is pretty good because it does about a half of a cube so that's pretty good. It is a bit loud but not that loud. It has a nice buttery but somewhat crispy feel and lockups don't really occur and pops, I haven't had one yet. You can get this cube in a bundle on Amazon that comes with four other cubes for around $45. I really do recommend getting the bundle if you are getting into 3x3s, 4x4s, and 5x5s because it comes with all those and 2x2s. I don't really recommend getting a 2x2 but all the other cubes are pretty darn good and I'll do a reviews on those a little later. But, so I do recommend this cube. I think you should get one, add it to your collection, or just have it for your new main. Whatever you want to do with it. But, alright guys, if you enjoy this video, be sure to hit that like button. And if you really liked it, be sure to hit that subscribe button. It really helps out a lot. And until the next video, guys.